All right, so we've got, uh, this is the ROG uh, Strix B450F Gaming. And I've just like first impressions, you know, I just did the unboxing of this and I, just, I threw on a 3200G and I'm gonna fire this up and uh, I've got my testing little cheap SSD drive with Windows on it all ready to go, some 3200 megahertz. Um, so I'm gonna fire this thing up and just again, first impressions, you know, it's a much more expensive board than kind of the budget $75 boards. It's fully ATX, but oh man, it was easy to build with. Just super quick to get everything set up. Everything just slid in really easily, nice fits, and I didn't have to like finagle anything. So um, I really like, I mean, this LED stuff is great. Uh, it's got two nice HDMI ports in the back. It's got the USB-C. So, you know, it's a $140 board, so it's a bit more expensive, especially if you're doing kind of a budget 3200, 3400G build. But if you're a gamer on a budget, this might be a pick for you. I don't know. So I'm going to fire this thing up. And, uh, but yeah, so far it's just been, um, it's just been really easy to, uh, really easy to work with. So let me get this going. All right, so I just fired up this uh, motherboard with a 3200G. This is the ROG Strix B450F Gaming. It's a more expensive motherboard. It's got some fancy LEDs that I'm, I'm kind of digging. Um, <clears throat> and I want to see... don't seem to be getting anything to display yet, but that could be... Um, it could be actually in the monitor, so let me just check that for one second. No signal, no signal. Switch to HDMI. Okay, so I got a display HDMI going and then I got an air because it said the CPU was too hot, but I had just not actually placed the fan because I was being lazy. But anyways, let's fire this up now and see, see what happens. Turn on the power supply. Nicely, you know, you can see when power supply is on, you get the LED there. All right. I got a no keyboard detected, which was kind of strange because I've used this keyboard on a bunch of different um, Thanks. So let me try these fancier USB ones here. Ah, oh, no keyboard detected. Okay. Uh, yeah. I don't know why it's not liking my fancy little keyboard. Yeah, it's fine when it. Uh, Okay, there we go. I don't know. That was weird. Okay, uh, I've never used the Fios before, but the only thing we really want to do is get this memory, which is 23, 133, to boost it. So that is probably here. Overclock tuner, DRAM, timing control, memory frequency. What else does it have? I really want just this. To load a profile because that would be nice. AI tweaker, target frequency. Hmm. DRAM voltage, she like, I know that should be 135, but fast boot, DRAM voltage. Yeah, I'm really looking for the uh, XMP, is that it? Yeah, the XMP, I think. Memory setting. Uh, okay. Well, 
and the overclocking, static configuration, monitor, another blood temperature. I mean, this is all great tool. Boot. Uh, okay. Well, I don't see it, so let's just do it here, which should be fine at 3200. And then I need 1.348 auto CPU, DRAM voltage. See, okay. I don't like having to change this, but is it going to let me change it? Oh, okay. I'm gonna go 1.35 there. Uh, it's got Aurora, Aura, on and off, all on. Cool. So that's some of the fancy LEDs. All right, let's get out of here. See changes and reset steering voltage. Okay, so let's restart here. Again, this is the B450F. Gaming from ROG. That didn't sound good. It'd be really annoying if it's difficult to overclock your memory. Yeah, that's definitely dying. All right. Let me look into this because this isn't working. Shoot, I was just hoping it was going to be easy pop in and go, but uh, I don't think that's going to be the case. So I could not get the RAM to overclock. It seems like there's a lot of issues getting the RAM loaded on this board up to like 3200, so it's really frustrating. Um, didn't seem to be any good solutions. I can maybe work on it later, but it's nice to just have things work out of the box. So I'm frustrated with this board that's like $140 versus the $75 one that I found that, you know, one click in the BIOS and then I was screaming at 3200. So, but this is still the 3200G on here. Um, I want to see how Overwatch plays, but I mean, we're at a lower we're only at like 2133 is, is the memory speed when you just throw in these sticks, so. So remember, I, I was getting 70 frames per second on the B450M um, HDV um, Asus, Asus AS Rock board. So right now that is by far my favorite for these APUs because there's just zippy performance. Oops, and uh, you know easy mini ATX uh, micro ATX board to work with. Um, yeah, this is not looking promising, unfortunately, for the B450F gaming. Um, 40 frames per second, 22, 20. Yeah, I mean, this is this is awful. And this is all the same other components that I was running. So it's the same memory, same power supply I test with, same cheap little SSD. So um, yeah, it's a bummer when you can't overclock your memory. And and yeah, I mean, 26 frames per second. So. This is unfortunate for a more expensive board, so unless I mess something up, I mean, maybe I could get this to overclock, but it's frustrating out of the box that it, uh, it's probably getting 30 frames per second, so boo. All right, well, this one's maybe going on eBay.